it's dinner time and you are starving. You have two options, a fully stocked kitchen with every tool, ingredient, and recipe at your fingertips, or a takeout menu. You order what you want, no idea how it's made, but you just enjoy the meal. That's the difference between SDKs and APIs. So if you're wondering why software sounds like such a food metaphor, strap in, we're about to serve you some clarity. So what is an SDK? I like to think of SDKs like a complete kitchen setup. It gives developers everything they need to do to build software efficiently. Inside of an SDK, you'll find pre-written code, libraries, documentation, sample projects, and even sometimes an API. It's like having a fully stocked kitchen ready to help you cook up an application without starting from scratch. Now let's talk about APIs. If an SDK is a kitchen, then APIs are like a food delivery service. You don't need to know how the meal is made. You just request it and it arrives at your door. APIs allow different software to communicate and share data. You use them every day, like when a ride sharing app pulls up data from Google Maps API to show your driver's route, or an online store processing payments using Stripe's APIs. You enter your card's details and then Stripe handles the transactions behind the scenes. APIs handle requests and responses, allowing services to interact seamlessly. And speaking of Stripe's API, let's look at some real world examples. Stripe's SDKs. Imagine you're opening an online store. Stripe's SDKs provides pre-built tools in multiple programming languages to integrate payments effortlessly. It supports the web, mobile, server environments, and making development smooth and quickly. No matter what you hope to do with the popular payments API, you'll be able to get started in a matter of moments thanks to their SDK library. Stripe's APIs. Now, if you're only using Stripe's APIs, you'll need to manually request the data and handle the responses, defining authentication endpoints and the logic yourself. Let's take a look at the Stripe's team workspace, and we can navigate to their Postman collection to explore their APIs. Here, you can see all of their APIs organized by use case, making it easy to find exactly what you need. With an SDK, the hard work is done for you. And in Postman, you can even auto-generate SDK code for multiple languages. Just click on the code tool and select a language and instantly get ready to use API calls in JavaScript, Python, and much more. So to wrap it all up, SDKs give you the tools to build something from the ground up. APIs let your software talk to other software. They both do different things, but both are key to making better, faster, and smarter applications. If this cleared things up, give it a like and hit subscribe for some more no-nonsense tech explainers.